world. Day 10 from our Camino. We stayed in Navarrete last night and we're going to Azofra tonight. So 22 kilometers today, which after doing a couple of 30, 32 k days should feel pretty easy. So we let ourselves sleep in and got up at about 6.30, got out of there by quarter past seven. So hopefully it doesn't get too hot this morning, but we still should be in by lunchtime. Yeah, we were feeling it yesterday. So it was our first sort of plus 30 day, the day before we'd done 29. Um, and it was mainly just bottom of the feet, but we've all woken up pretty refreshed and no real pains. So yeah, we're in a good way so far. So we'll hit just shy of 200 Ks total today. We'll be at one, 195. Um, and yeah, the second 100's obviously gone a lot quicker because we've had no days off <laughs> and we haven't had a 7K day. One thing we didn't realize after 32 kilometers, we came into Navarat and we got in at 2.30, everything was shut. <laughs> All the supermarkets shut on a Sunday at 2.30, so we just missed them. There was nowhere we could get food. We were absolutely famished <laughs> and we had to wait till seven o'clock till they were serving dinner. And, oh, the albergue there we stayed in, um, albergue Cantara, I think it was called, 12 euros a night best one we've stayed in so far had a private shower room there were only 12 beds in the dorm and there were only six of us in there and four of them were our family so it was very quiet had a lovely kitchen um, beautiful clean house I think it's just the lady's house and she lives sort of in there um, and has just done up one floor of her house for um, the pilgrims like a tiny dot on my screen but hoping you can see the eagle we are walking the Camino too because um well because help us being tortured we've been captured help us please please they're, they're up ahead but please send help they're further that way send help please we're behind because they gave us the camera idiots so now we get to muck around with this help us please we're, we're being held here we're fine we're fine no we're not hmm I've got the fat one on sides. Wow. I wish you could zoom in on this thing. Look, there's the shadows. <laughs> Did you get them? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, nope. One more. Oh, through the trees. I think it says stay off the grass. Think. What's the point of putting those there? The Camino goes out that way. Kids are worried we might have to climb out of this town. It's looking like a real possibility. A bit of red dirt today. Doing the climb out of Nigeria. And we feel like we're in a, I don't know, Arizona or even in Australia. The climb's not too bad. The landscape's definitely changed. And yet we've still got vineyards. So we've got grapes growing up there. Uh, it is quite, is it a natural formation or is it? Yeah, I reckon.
Walking into town. Not even walking into town, walking out of the last town. We said, right, we've got to change our routine from we walk into a town, we go and get the food. We go to the supermarket because it's open when we come in. And then we have a shower and then we go to try and find food. Shut. All the time. I haven't had lunch in three days. <laughs> I'm starving. And we, yeah, we did it again. What? Oh, that's nice. There's a supermarket there. Let's just walk past and go have a shower. So I'm clean. So I'm hungry. So I can't eat out of vending machines for lunch anymore. Bit of a bit of a cultural um, culture shock. Mm.